Welcome back to The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Let's look at our second conversation. The issue of urban farming in Lagos State has been called by authorities. Now, it's no longer news that Nigeria is facing a food security crisis that is compounded by COVID-19, and that's a global pandemic. It has an effect on the food value chain, including the security concerns in Nigeria. The pandemic already has significantly disrupted a lot of uh, activities, including the value chain of food across the country and the issue of bandits and banditry across the entire nation. But the Lagos state government, in a bid to proffer solution, has called on Lagosians to embrace urban farming as a way to ensure food sufficiency that might trickle down to other parts of the country. But with the challenge of limited landmass being faced in different quarters across the state, uh, the big question here is how viable and how visible is this uh, call for urban farming? in Lagos State. And uh, <laughs> as much as, you know, I, I remember someone saying, <laughs> you, we, farming is very good. Because if you look at us as a country, uh, the history over time, you found that mm. Nigeria agriculture contributed a lot, about mm -hmm. 60 or 70 percent to her GDP. Mm. And that was at the time before we now discovered oil. And now it feels like, you know, oil has become a curse mm -hmm. or not necessarily a blessing because we have focused all of our attention. I'm thinking that the attention we have paid, uh, you know, on uh, the oil sector if we you know have to divide that into two hmm. maybe just maybe the agricultural sector might just be uh, yes making... yes yes you know it's 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 great <laughs> i mean I, I put my hands together for the legal state commissioner for agriculture you know um we need to ask ourselves what is what is urban farming urban farming is is a cultivation you know, and distribution of food around urban centers. You know, so where we normally expect the food to come from the rural places, you have the villages, you know, and the, the localities or the rural communities. We, we're now saying, okay, people within Lagos, people in Leki, people in Antoni, in Ikeja, all right, in Surulere should be planting. And then you ask yourself, where is the space to even start planting? Because there's no space to even move. We don't even have where to park car. <laughs> where are people parking their cars? You understand? There's no space. People are struggling to pay their rent. But the thing is this. What the government is saying is for the good of, of, of Nigerians, of Lagosians, which is if you can cultivate your tomatoes at home, you can cultivate your, cultivate your, your peppers, either on subsistence basis as for yourself, or even do it to even sell, okay? It will greatly reduce how much you spend on food. The cost of food is high. In 2019, Nigeria's agricultural imports rose by 12.18%. You know, and we're spending, you know, as much as uh, 90, 959 959.28 billion naira to import food into the country. That was 2019. I'm sure in 2020, 2021, it would have gone up because of the dollar naira ratio and how things have become an economy. You know, so people need to start planting at home. Kofi, I but think you're even... Do we have what it takes? Remember, as kids, we used to have tomatoes around. Exactly. Now, I'm so, sure, so, I'm yeah, sure I'm you, home, you, had, you had um, um, a pumpkin. So I grew up with my grandmother. I was going to talk about oh pumpkin. My God. Uh, so you can only no, imagine. Come on, you only expect. <laughs> yeah, come on. Now, the truth is, you're even going far with mm -hmm. all of that statistics. Mm -hmm. Let's even calm down. We're in Lagos, and it's a good thing that you know the Lagos state government is saying, let's be self-sufficient in production of you know food, at least to take care of ourselves. And uh, maybe, just maybe, can trickle down to other parts of the country. I doubt if we get to that point where we can supply to other parts of the country. But like you have mentioned, let's farm. You know what we can consume. Yeah, you, do you know how basis. much? Do you know how much vegetable is right now? Ugu, what they call the ugu, the pumpkin leaf. Oh, I mean, a, a portion. I don't know how I'm to call just, that. It's like seven hundred now. Seven hundred now. And you need you. to see how many strands you have there together. That's seven hundred. So that's a lot. But I also like the fact that you know the government because the major challenge here is land. The Space, we don't, there's not, I mean, you don't have a lot I, I hear of we import, we import afang leaf into that, Nigeria from outside the country. Well, so, so I don't know. I don't know about how that happens, but I know that, you know, for Lagos, if you look at it, you don't even need a soothsayer to tell you. The land mass is a big problem. So, so people, people don't start, even have. And the yeah. issue of climate change and the fact that, you know, we leave it, the flooding issue also is also a big yeah, problem. Yeah. So, yes, we know the yeah. government has suggested that people can plant buckets, you know, have the bucket, uh, their backyards and all of that. But do we even have? It's a great Because idea. not everyone, everyone doesn't own a property. And some of the properties you find... Uh, Take a travel. I mean, take a take a move. I don't want to say take travel. Move around, like yeah, yeah. How many of this, you know, space but, do you but, but even have? But it's a have? wonderful idea. If 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 the 
the, the, the government can look at ways to, to train people, put out information on how people can do this. I'm sure people want to do it. Because we're looking at ways to reduce the bill. In, in Lagos, you have to plan yourself. You have to plan when you're going to go to mile 12 market to buy your tomatoes or go to wherever market you can go to to buy your meat in bulk and all that. People are, people are planning and it's not funny. So it's a good one. I, mean, I don't think it's just like we want to shoot government down. Mm. Uh, if, if we can have some sort of training no, for this, it's a fantastic idea. I, okay. I don't even think that we need too much training. Maybe what the government is even saying is, like, if you can see the pictures on the screen, yes, yes. it's really simple. But you don't necessarily have to have it's all not, of those bags. It's not that simple. Some people no, don't know how to do it. No, it is. Even if you just have a few to, sets to of fresh in, pepper in be behind your house uh -huh. or a bucket. Some people don't know how to do it. Some people have never planted anything in their lives before. <laughs> well, we're hoping oh, that the Lagos state government and everyone will do great in ensuring it's a good call, by the way, and we applaud the government. We understand the need that we need to be self-sufficient in fruit production. But like Kofi has mentioned, a lot of people do not know the, uh, the don't have the technical know-how to cultivate anything. Maybe we need some education and some kind of uh, learning to understand Mercy, all of this. Mercy, what, what, what will we be planting? What will we planting? Fresh tomatoes. All ooh, right, ooh. all right. I, you know, I, all look for, I look forward Water to leaves. tasting some of those. Snail. We grow everything. I, I look forward to tasting the tomatoes in particular. All right, that's it from us right here on Plus TV Africa. The breakfast has been quite interesting. It's been a thrill having you, and we hope to have you again tomorrow. But you can always hook up with us online on our social media pages and on YouTube. It's at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Do subscribe. Facebook and Twitter is at Plus TV Africa. I am Messi Bukwa. Do have yourself a fantastic day. My name is Kofi Bartels. See you tomorrow.